Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here with Cinema Sound. Today we're going to be working with one of the super power plugins of Adobe Audition, and that is the Convolution Reaver, both in stereo and in surround. And if you've never used it, you are in for a treat. Let's roll. We're here in Adobe Audition, and if you've never used Adobe Audition, I invite you to come to cinemasound.com and stream our Adobe Audition 123 product. And basically, it takes you from I don't know how to use Adobe Audition, I've never booted it, to I'm getting really, really great results for my productions in a few hours. Check that out. So just like in every nonlinear editor, we've got clips in a timeline. Here's one, just some basic dialogue. Let's check it out. We'd proven we could take on the Klingons, but the D7 changed all that. So we want to add some reverb to that. And usually the best way to do that is from buses. So we're going to do that by creating a multi-track, track, stereo bus track like this. We don't typically want to add reverb to a track itself because in, especially in a multimedia mix we may we may want to add that reverb uh, to another track as well which would mean we'd have to instantiate another reverb plug-in on another track and then that begins cutting down on a lot of CPU resources. So if we have a stereo bus that's available we put a, a reverb on that and we send the sound from one track to another into that bus. So here we are, we're going to go to the mixer. We're going to call this, this is bus C, we'll call this stereo reverb. Very nice. We're going to instantiate, turn this off, we're going to instantiate the stereo convolution reverb. There it is. Now this is pretty cool. What we need to do in order to get our track, which I believe is track one, yes, track one to this bus, is simply go to the sends, here that's the S1, and say, all right, go to stereo reverb, and then tell it by holding down Option or Alt on the volume knob, bang, zero uh, dB worth of audio is going now to this bus. We've proven we could take on the Klingons. And there's the reverb actually going on there in a classroom impulse response. Now, what makes the convolution and every convolution reverb really great is that you can load pre-recorded shots of rooms, real rooms, into the reverbs and create a hyper real uh, reverb situation, not just an algorithmic uh, reproduction, but an actual digital reproduction in stereo of the room that was shot. In this case, uh, in this case, I don't know what classroom it was, but it was a classroom. Here's a hall. We'd proven we could take on the Klingons. And that's super nice. And how about the medium-sized cave? We'd proven we could take on the Klingons. Cool, lots of pan towards the right. This is a real environment that's been recreated and you can, uh, you can select all these. Now don't be confused when you go up here to presets and start selecting these. For example, interred, notice it selects a different convolution. We've proven we could take on the Klingons. That's definitely in jail. How about a cold house? This is lecture hall convolution. We've proven we could take on the Klingons. And it also stores all of these settings here, the mix, the room size, damping, and all these other things. So don't be confused. We're gonna go back to the default and the classroom. Let's select the large bathroom. We've proven we could take on the Klingons. And that's very nice. Okay, so the room size is as advertised. You want it at 100%, that's as big as the room convolution can make it. If you want it at 10, that's the smallest. We've proven we could take on the Klingon. And the biggest. We've proven we could take on the Klingon. And then you have the mix, zero being dry. We've proven we could take. And 100 being 100%. We've proven we could take on. And for a bus like this, you would want it always to be on 100% because you can control that amount from the send here on the channel. I can turn this off. We've proven we could take on the clean. And guess, just get a direct signal. I can turn it all the way up and blow ourselves up. We've proven we could take on the In the bathroom. Cool, so that's the room size. Then we have the damping low frequency. How much of the low frequencies do we want to have removed? If we bring this all the way up to 100. We've proven we could take on the Low frequencies are gone all the way to 10. We've proven we could take on the They're rolling on down there. Same with the HF or high frequencies. We can turn those down. We've proven we could take on the Klingons. And have lots of reverb. We've proven we could take on the Klingons. So if we take both of these sliders down to We've 10... We've proven we could take on the Klingons. That means we get lots of high frequencies and lots of low frequencies. Very little damping. And if we bring it up to 100%... We've proven we could take on the Klingons. You're kind of just getting the dead uh, the convolution itself. Pre-delay means how many milliseconds before the reverb starts happening. So if we bring this out to 40 milliseconds... We've proven we could take on the Klingons. What it allows is the direct signal to kind of live before that reverb happens. If we get it out to a tenth of a We've second. We've proven we could take on the Klingons. It actually has sort of a delay effect. And then, of course, in a large bathroom, we would want this to be very, very small. Then the width applies to stereo width. Do you want the reverb to be We've mono? proven we could take on the Klingons. Or uber wide at 300%. We've proven we could take on the Klingons. 
And if you're in headphones, you really hear it. Or the generally right setting, which is also 100% mono compatible, is at 100% stereo. And then you have the gain. Excuse me, how much of, how much uh, reverb do you want overall? We've proven we could take on the Klingons. Or you can turn it off. You can turn it off or get it really loud. Cool. So that's the general just there, again, selecting any of these convolutions. Now, here's what's really cool about this. You see, you've, you've seen this load button here. And you can create your own convolutions, which we talk about extensively in the cinema sound education by clapping your hands in the room and recording that in stereo or whatever. And then you can actually just cut it so you get the clapping parts and the decay of the room and load it into this reverb. Check this out now. I can hit load. And this is actually a convolution that we did, uh, an initial re impulse response that we did on set for the Macbeth scene from the Cinema Sound Education. I'm gonna load this. And you can see there it is, Macbeth IR front, left and right. If we go take a listen to this, in fact, let's just bring it in so you can hear it directly. I'm gonna go here. This is just an audio file I'll drag in. Check this out. So that's the sound of the room in stereo from a clap, right on the clap. And that's taking this, uh, the, the reverb's taking this in impulse response and turning it into this reverb. I'll go back to the dialogue and the mixer and the convolution reverb. We've proven we could take on the Klingons. That's a magnified version of that actual room. Now we're on room size 100, let's bring it to 50. We've proven we could take on the Klingons. Maybe even lower. We'll have the damping at 50 and 50, no pre delay. We'd proven we could take on the Klingons. Bring down the volume. We'd proven we could take on the Klingons. There you go. That's the actual sound of the big living room that we were in, just magnified in this amazing algorithm. And once you've loaded it and hit save, it saves it with your session and brings it up no problem, which is a really great bug fix that didn't We'd use. We'd proven we could take on the Klingons. And it'll save these settings once you save it in a uh, preset as well. Let's take a look at the surround reverb, convolution reverb. We're going to do the same thing, only now we're going to turn off the stereo reverb. Let me do it this way so it's a little easier for you to see. We're going to go to send to, that's here, and we're going to say go to, and don't I have a surround here somewhere? I think I do. Bus B, we know it's surround because I have a bunch of those little things there. We're going to say surround. Reverb. We're going to instantiate the surround reverb. There it is, convolution surround reverb. Look at this beautiful thing. So much fun. And then we're going to send this to surround reverb at full volume. Notice the surround pattern that's now available, which is so dope. <laughs> now, of course, you're hearing this in surround. It's being, um, you know, down, down mixed to stereo, but you get the idea. Nothing going, nothing going to the LFE. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff going to the center channel, and we can turn that off very easily by saying center wet channel. Turn that off. Look how much nicer and wider that is. For those of us in stereo, same kinds of, it's exactly the same setting here that we had in the regular one, except we have front width and surround width independent. So usually we would want the surround to be a slightly different width than the front, so we can do that. And we're done. We have the same settings that we had before. Here is your overall center level input if you had an actual surround input, which we don't. Um, and again, you can select any of the, you know, convolutions that we have here. These are different convolutions because they are, in fact, surround. Medium size. Medium size auditorium. Room size. Bring this down. Super, super nice. You have your left and right balance. Which way do you want it? You have your front and back balance, forward and rear. And then, of course, the overall mix, which on Ascend we would leave up all the time. Now, here's the thing. We can load convolutions just the same. And this is a stereo convolution. But when we do, unfortunately, there's still a bug in this program where you really can't load your own convolutions yet because unfortunately they come, out, they come out mono, which is awful. So unfortunately with the surround reverb plugin at this time, it's still, you got to use the built-in one, which are, which are pretty lovely, if I may say so. But this is the superpower of Adobe Audition in their convolution stereo and surround reverbs. Hopefully you've gotten a lot of value out of this video and maybe some out of the hundreds of other videos we have here on the Cinema Sound channel. If so, please subscribe to our channel here and come visit us at cinemasound.com where one or maybe more of our blog posts and educational bits will help you get the Hollywood value and production value you've been looking for in your productions from the Department of the Redu Redundancy Department. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're